The electrodes of a lithium ion battery or a sodium ion battery are one of the key reasons why charging times are slow or slowish in comparison to say filling up your tank with gasoline. But the key bottleneck here, which is the electrodes, are about to be changed in a very interesting way. Greener, cheaper and charging faster. There's a new way to manufacture lithium ion battery electrodes. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Thailand at the moment. And here in Thailand, I've seen quite a few electric cars recently. MG electric cars, BYD electric cars. I've seen Tesla electric cars. I've seen a few other brands as well. Things are changing very quickly. But those cars, the charging speeds, well, for some of them, at least the non-Tesla ones, they do still charge relatively slowly. However, with new electrodes, that could change. What is a lithium ion battery electrode? Well, quickly, it is a key component of a lithium ion battery that facilitates the storage and release of energy. A lithium ion battery typically consists of two electrodes, an anode, which is the negative electrode, and a cathode, which is the positive electrode. They're separated by an electrolyte. So the anode of a lithium ion battery is typically made of either graphite or other carbon based materials. Graphite has been widely used because it has excellent properties for lithium ion batteries. It serves as the host material where lithium ions are stored during the charging process. When the battery is discharged, lithium ions move from the anode to the cathode through the electrolyte releasing electrical energy. The anode also helps maintain the structural stability of the battery during cycling. Well, what about the cathode? Well, the cathode of a lithium ion battery is usually composed of a lithium transition metal oxide, such as lithium cobalt oxide, lithium manganese oxide, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide, or lithium iron phosphate. Iron phosphates obviously are the cheapest form of cathodes that are currently manufactured or mass produced. Now these materials can reversibly intercalate and deintercalate lithium ions during charge and discharge cycles. The choice of cathode materials depends on factors such as energy density, power density, the safety, and also of course the cost. The cost is a big issue here. The cathode determines the voltage of the battery and it plays a crucial role in the overall performance of the lithium ion cell. It's also the bottleneck. So advancements in electrode materials and designs are continually pushing forwards in order to actually improve the energy density, the cycling stability, the safety and the cost effectiveness of lithium ion batteries. Researchers are exploring various minerals, materials, and nanostructured architectures to enhance the performance and address the numerous challenges associated with lithium ion battery electrodes. However, this new research led by Yan Wang, a researcher from Worcester Polytechnic Institute or, called, or WPI, has pioneered a solvent free methodology for the production of lithium ion battery electrodes. This novel approach yields greener, more cost-effective and quicker charging electrodes compared to those presently available, potentially revolutionizing battery manufacturing for EVs. Now you've probably heard of Tesla's process of having a dry solvent. It cuts down production costs, it makes them faster, and it can potentially make 4680 cells that Tesla now manufacture a significantly better product in the long run. However, this team are working on a dry print manufacturing technique, and they spoke about it in the journal called Joule, which circumvents the use of harmful solvents and extensive drying periods inherent in traditional electrode production methods that utilize slurries. So they've been working on something similar to what Tesla have been doing as well. Wang, holding the position of WPI, at the Department of Mechanical and Materials Engineering, stated that this innovative process is scalable. That's the key here, being able to scale the production process and it potentially decreases electrode production expenses by around 15%. Moreover, the electrodes produced through this method can charge at a much faster rate than those created using conventional methods. So this is something that a lot of people are aware of. It's actually possible that we'll be able to see faster charging times 
from Tesla's latest version of their 4680 cells using these dry electrode techniques. Current lithium-ion batteries charge too slowly and manufacturers typically use flammable, toxic, and expensive solvents that increase the time and cost of production, said Wang. Our solvent-free manufacturing processes address those disadvantages by producing electrodes that charge to 78% of capacity in less than 20 minutes, all without the need for solvents, slurries, and long production times. Sounds amazing to me. Now, the key here, of course, is mass production. Commercial lithium-ion battery electrodes are typically made by mixing active materials, conductive additives, polymers, and organic solvents to create a slurry that is pasted onto a metal substrate, dried in an oven, and cut into pieces for use in batteries. The solvents are recovered through distillation. It's a long and pretty drawn out and expensive process. The researcher's process, in contrast, is much like Tesla's, and it's involved with mixing together dry powders that were electrically charged, so they will adhere when sprayed onto a metal substrate. The dry coated electrodes were then heated and compressed with rollers. Skipping the conventional drying and solvent recovery process cuts battery manufacturing energy use by 47%, the researchers say. A 47% decrease in energy use to manufacture the product is massive. This has some enormous cost advantages that are not even part of the equation of what the team was even going for, which was much faster battery charging. Now, this team has been focused for a long time now on improving lithium-ion batteries and reducing the waste they create. The team co-founded Ascend Elements, a company that are developing battery recycling technologies. Wang's electrode manufacturing work has been funded by the Department of Energy with the United States Advanced Battery Consortium, LLC, and the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center. The university has now filed a patent application on the precise manufacturing technology developed in Wang's by Wang's team. In addition, Wang and one of his collaborators, Heng Pan of Texas A&M University, co-founded AM Batteries Inc., a venture-backed company that is working with Amperex Technology Limited, or ATL, and other companies to scale up solvent-free electrode manufacturing. And it's believed this precise process they're using will be commercialized within the next 12 to 24 months. Hopefully it happens because this is exactly what the industry needs, efficiency and faster charging. And I believe this technology could possibly deliver both of those at significant improvements over previous technologies. And well, clearly Tesla agrees as well. They've been working on exactly the same thing now for a number of years. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.